Today we're going to show you how you can use unit testing using shared projects in Visual Micro. And we're going to unit test a timing function that we're simply using here to flash an LED to keep it simple for this example. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and do check out the other videos on our channel and we'll keep adding more with new features and updates. So here we have the example sketch which is linked in the description and we have an Arduino project which is simply running our little calculation function to say has the time elapsed every thousand milliseconds. And you can see we've got our H file which is in our shared project and our CPP file where our timing functions live and this is what we're going to want to unit test. So for example the timing functions may need to be very accurate to the millisecond or less so you may want to test these in a more accurate way than simply running your project and hoping for the best. So with some unit testing we can very accurately set the clock to the exact milliseconds that we want in the way this library is used and then ascertain whether the conditions are right for what we expect. So we've got our Arduino project, our shared timing project, which is referred to by the Arduino project, and then we have our unit testing project, which has got some code in, as we see here, to run the unit tests. So if you do want to know more about setting up one of these from scratch, we do have a full length video that takes you through every step of doing this and an instructable article as well which are also linked in the description. So if we open the Test Explorer window, you have to run all tests to build and discover your test the first time. And then you can see my test has failed. So you can see the line it's failed on, how long it took to get there. And this code is actually running on your PC, not on your Arduino at this point. So you could write and run a variety of tests without actually even having the board, making distributed development easier. So if we just add a breakpoint on the line it said it failed on and then press debug, this lets us debug the test while it runs. So we can now see <coughs> what's wrong and jump into the code of time elapsed so we can find out why it's not returning as we'd expect on this. And it's only a very simple issue, but if we just check the values, we can hover over them and see what they are. So now see uh, it's not running because we've done greater than as opposed to greater than or equal to. So we're all running just a millisecond late in this case but as we say in some things this may be important. So for unit testing a very simple example but you can see the benefits of being able to run all of these tests on a variety of code before you even put it on your board. So if we run them again there we go the tests have passed. So now we know everything's accurate and we haven't maybe added breaking changes to some existing code. So now we know that that works, we can go to our board project and we can build and upload this code to our board, which is using the code we've just finished unit testing. And of course, if there are still problems when it is on the board, don't forget all of the debugging solutions available in Visual Micro through the Serial Debugger and GDB, which will allow you to dig into that further. 